I need some roadhead in there. Stat. Well, also I because- might call it Task Rabbit. <laughs> 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 I got a task for you. <laughs> Trevor Wallace, we're doing comedy live, and you can see me in these cities. Coming up, a lot are selling. Uh, the few tickets left in Salt Lake City, that is November 18th. Very few tickets left on that. A uh, few tickets left in Oklahoma and Tulsa and Oklahoma City. That's December 10th and December 11th. We also have New Haven, Connecticut, December 16th. Atlantic City, New Jersey, December 17th. Red Bank, New Jersey, December 18th. And then we have the makeup dates of Fort Lauderdale, January 27th, Charleston 28th, and Asheville, January 29th. Those still have a few tickets towards the end, but if you didn't hear your city and you heard me say it before, it's because it's fucking sold out. Maybe we'll have a new show. Maybe we won't, but I love you. Thank you for supporting me. TrevorWalsComedy.com. Michael Blaustein, where are you going to be besides In My Dreams? Whoa, love it. Uh, Michael Blaustein, guys, tonight, tonight, Houston, Texas, few more tickets, so go cop them right now. That is November 2nd. November 3rd, which is tomorrow, Dallas, Texas. That is sold out. I'm sorry if I'm saying that. November 16th, Fort Lauderdale, Florida, guys. November 18th to the 19th, I will go be in Louisville, Kentucky. Louisville, Kentucky, that's where they make bats. I don't even know if that's true. November 18th whiskey. to the... Say again? Whiskey. Whiskey. Sorry. Whiskey. That's where they make whiskey. November 18th to the 19th, Louisville, Kentucky. Go get tickets. December 2nd to the 4th, I'm going to be in San Antonio. Those tickets are really moving. I love you, Texas. December 2nd to the 4th, and then uh, January 5th to the 7th, I'll be in San Diego, California. January January 13th to the 15th, I'll be in Raleigh, North Carolina. February 10th to the 12th, I'll be in Tampa, Florida. And this is about the time where Trevor starts yelling at me. February 17th to the no, 18th. I, I respect Vir you. Virginia Beach. <laughs> Virginia Beach. Uh, March 3rd to the 4th, I'll be in Orlando. And many, many, many more dates in 2023. So go get tickets at BlauComedy.com. That is BlauComedy.com. On to the episode. <laughs> Whoa. How do you feel about Mormons not cussing? They'll be like, shut the front door. Bitch, I, say it real wise. I think it's cute. Shut I, the fuck up. Shut the fuck up, but also I think it's <clears throat> kind of cute when they do it, and I know shut what the they really door. mean. Right. they hit front hard. But do, you, but do you think they say the same thing for sexual intercourse? Yes. And be like, I want you to slam this front door. Hard. And then she's like, oh, God. I think front she goes, door me. I think she goes, I'm, I'm kind of a hussy. I want you to slam the back door. God damn. Is there a side door? <laughs> What's that, the ear hole? Yeah, the ear hole. <laughs> Do people just pipe the ear? People fuck Hello. anything. That's like a Verizon commercial. What are you saying? Can you hear me now? That's where I was going. Can you hear me now? He's just piping Great the ear. Great slogan. Great slogan. What were you saying? Stick figures? I, just, I was just saying the first cave drawings were the first texts. And then we started talking was about- it text or- uh... and No, and then we're talking about like cave drawings. People- Drawing like, you know, naked things on the how, walls. How quick did they draw tits? I mean, I think pretty fast. Because no one was wearing clothes back then. Yeah, but if nobody's wearing clothes, clothes, are you horny? Because there's no temptation. You're like, oh, I wonder what's behind that tree branch. I don't know, tits. But also, if tits were just out, those were are essentially nature's clothes. Yeah. Listen to yourself. I just did. <laughs> Wait, how is that clothes if there's no clothes? That's what I'm saying. That's nature's clothes. You ever what? heard of, yeah, you ever heard of, oh, this is my birthday suit? This yeah. is walking around in birthday suits. Also, everyone's birthday, it should be legal, you have to be naked. It's your birthday suit. Yeah, but what if it's your grandma's birthday? Who cares? Me. I don't my know. My eyes. Do grandmas my have like, wrinkly eyes. tits too? Cut the episode. <laughs> Do they have wrinkly <laughs> the whole tits? You think, you think their face wrinkles, just not the tits? I don't know. I'm asking. Well, in the future, the BB, who, stop texting me. In the future, I'm getting, I'm getting caveman drawings. I think in the future when there's, you know, all the, the BBL Brazilian butt lifts and all the fake tits in the future, there is going to be less wrinkles. Yeah. So the tits are going to look phenomenal, like a bowling ball in a tube sock. I'm hot. You're hot? <laughs> yeah, man, I'm hard. It's too early. I, this is what I want to say. It is going to be I'm funny. I'm hot. Well, no, no. It is going to be funny when all of the BBLs and all that kind of shit go out of style and then they go, how do I drain this? And then where does all that go? You ever put a Into basketball? Into Goodyear tires? <laughs> yeah. You ever put a basketball in your t-shirt and then you hit it to spin it around? Yep. And that, one mixtape. Yeah. It's going to look like two of those in a t-shirt. I want tits so saggy that I can hit them and they fling around my t-shirt. They could. And they can come out. What's the biggest areola you've ever seen? I'll show you. All right. I think I was looking at my nipples the other day. I think they're finally evolving into a human body. What does that even mean? Because <laughs> I think growing up my whole life, I had like opaque. Is that the word? Just like not dark nipples. Well, you're and not a dark guy. Why would they be dark nipples? 
mentally. All right. But now I, <laughs> I look and I feel like they fit my body a little more. Hey, elaborate. I don't know. They just do not, a cave drawing. They're, 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 they're more tan. They're, did you, they, did you I, tan I think, them or do you think the lower was like the darker nippers? What is it? I don't mean, I don't know, dude. My mouth's we're, not working. We're yet. misfiring. Yeah. We're doing this podcast way earlier than usual because of our schedules, but we're here for you guys. Yeah, we are. All I'm saying is I think my nipples look better than they have in the past. What do they look like in the past? I like used a to be piece very of printer paper? <laughs> <laughs> like a doily? Uh, what the fuck are doilies? You could use a doily for pasta. Well, it would help if I knew what one of those was. Gabe, please bring it up. You know, What's exactly, a doily? we're all drinking five energies. It's too early. <laughs> What's, a doily? What's the worst thing you can drink at this hour? Milk. No, a Mountain Dew. No. Uh, Mountain Dew, fine. I can get. Right now? I, I'm, I'm thinking maybe like a soda that has zero caffeine in it. So Because you're just then just drinking soda. Oh. Mr. Oh. Pibb. <laughs> First of all, Mr. Pibb and Dr. Pibb, who's winning in a YouTube box? I feel match? like it's the same guy. But they do this to be like, we can hit bigger audiences. Okay. Who the hell's picking over? Do That's doily. a doily. Yeah. Right there. Yeah, that looks like my tits. When did it start getting darker? I don't know. I looked in the mirror the other day. I was just like, damn, fucking look at this guy, huh? I'm so the, hot. So your whole life they were like white nipples? Not white, they were just not dark. Well, you your but your skin is like you're you're a you know, you're an Auburn man. So your skin's gonna be a little lighter, right? Yeah. So, so wouldn't it wouldn't it be super weird if your nipples were just like Do you like dark nipples or not dark nipples? <laughs> oh, on a lady? <laughs> Sure. I like any nipple that, uh, that allow me to lick them. <laughs> I want your... <laughs> <laughs> but what do you prefer on a lady? You, dark nips? Um, white chocolate? Dark cacao? What are we I kind of like milk chocolate. Okay. Like milk chocolate tits. I like the dark areolas. There you go. Let me see at night. Hold up. Yo, women should have glow-in-the-dark tit nipples. That would be so fire. That wouldn't be... Dude, if I was a lady, I'd write, you know, the invisible ink that glows in the dark? I just write wackadoo shit all over my tits. A wackadoo shit? Just weird shit. Squeeze them. Touch them. Social security number under this my left. This sounds tit. like a Bop It commercial. Squeeze them. <laughs> Touch it. Twist it. Whoever invented that is a horny guy. <laughs> oh, yeah. I mean, you kidding me? Jerk it. How's there not a deal that that's a Bop It collab? There should be a fleshlight Bop It collab. Jerk Somebody it. Somebody get them on the phone. Yeah. Jerk it. Jerk it. Fuck it. it. Finger it. Gargle it. That's the best sound in the world. Oh, what is this? here we go. Please feast your eyes on this X-rated bop it. Oh, uh, yeah, it's what? called, oh, yeah, it's shit. called the Flick and Jerk. No, yeah, better name. Within, yeah, Flick and Jerk. Different. So it looks like it's a flashlight, a uh, yep. butt plug, a dildo, and a vibe. I'll tell you what that is. It's a good time. A <laughs> hundred. What is in the middle? Do you hit that when you're nutting? You're just like, ah! <laughs> <laughs> fuck it. Oh. That's the easy button, right? When you could come. you imagine like you walk in the room and your your son thought this was a bop it. <laughs> you know what's worse is if your son if you walk in your son your son's using that yeah cause it'll tell you Damn. suck it rub it plug it pound it first of all don't, I'm game for all don't fucking tell me what to do <laughs> alright I'll choke you goddamn bop it don't to fucking tell me what to do choke it just take the double A's out god damn so oh so you do you have to what is what is the bop it do you have to remember it or you yeah, just do it it's a pattern it's a pattern it, twist it bop it Pull it. We should actually bring one in and see how coordinated we are. We should we should bring uh, Simon. What's that shit? Simon, Simon Cow. Sim yeah, Simon Cow. Change mm -hmm. your fucking T-shirt. <laughs> <laughs> Just a black shirt the whole time. You're worth nineteen quadrillion dollars. I kind of like it. I no. How All much right. does he at least wear expensive T-shirts? Maybe, could be, like a Louis Vuitton black T-shirt. Yeah, I would love it. Just like a Hanes T-shirt, probably. First of all, if he started talking shit to me, if I sang, he started talking shit to me, that's the first thing I'd say. If Change I your was, shirt. Shut up. Well, if I was on the show, I'd be like, let me hear you sing. Yeah, there's no way. Why is he saying. so. What are his credentials? I mean, they're obviously something. God damn. <laughs> Today's video is sponsored by our friends at Seat, Seat Geek. Geek. Dude, fall concerts are here. And that means you can get $20 off tickets at Seat Geek with. Promo code SOCKS, Socks dude. And if you didn't already know, SeatGeek is a ticketing app that makes buying tickets super simple. I've got the app on my phone, and it's by far, by far, the best way to buy tickets. Um, dude, so many amazing concerts we're talking. The Weeknd, Doja Cat, Justin Bieber, Olivia Rodrigo, and my personal favorite, Shawn Mendes. Shawn Mendes would catch it. And I don't mean baseball. SeatGeek wants to make sure... <laughs> 
funny. <laughs> See? Promo code funny. No, promo code socks. Well, let me let me explain to you, what? you guys real quick. So it's really easy to and so you're scrolling on the app. You're like, is this a good deal or not? Just look for green. Green means go. Green means good. Red means bad deal. So stay away from the red. But don't worry, we got the hookup. So you're, it's always a good deal when yep. you use promo code socks. Socks. All capital S O C K S. Twenty dollars okay. off tickets at SeatGeek. It's actually phenomenal. Yeah, twenty, dude. First purchase use promo code socks. Make sure you click the link in the description to download the app today. Code socks, twenty dollars off your first SeatGeek order. God damn, your aerials are brown now. Hey, they're fine. Have you been in the sun a lot recently? Maybe. Okay, I don't they, know. They, are they like are they like mood rings? When you're like happy, we they need get built-in mood rings. Our faces are actually mood rings. Come to think about it. Yeah. You walk ooh. in and I'm like, hmm, not a good mood. But you walk in, I'm like, ha ha, your boy got some pussy. Yeah, but to other <laughs> but people, faces a mood ring. Really, people lie. You know what I need? You know, uh, you know that third eye that a lot of painters have. Painters, yeah. a lot of drawings. Mm -hmm. I want a yeah, mood ring. ring. Camera. I want a mood ring, and I want to shove it in my girlfriend's head, so Just I know so exactly know. what she's thinking. Because she she can be like, oh no, I'm fine. You're not fine. Well, just, yeah, that, that phrase alone is never yeah, fine. Never. Fine is never a good word. Oh, no, don't worry about it. Step bro. Don't worry about it. Worry about it. Oh, no, I'm fine. You're not fine. I'm not hungry. Starving. Starving. Why? What do, why? Pick a lane. Context clues? You, this is what I hate. Who am I? Christopher Columbus? I can't find the answer. Christopher Columbus is the worst discoverer ever. He was like, this is mine. They're like, clearly not. Well, he goes, this is America. And everyone's like, this is India. And he goes, what? And he, he like discovered Vermont, sort of. Which, let's be honest, could have gone undiscovered. <laughs> <laughs> well, really? We're talking. I've never been to Vermont. I haven't so I'm either. sorry. I'd go. I'd go too. Is that close to Portland, Maine? No. <laughs> Other side. Oh, Vermont. Portland, Maine. Portland, Maine. Yes, close Can to Portland, Maine. you just go on Google and type in, does Vermont have hoes? <laughs> it does. I feel like they all look like me, but with long, like opaque. <laughs> no. Is that the right word? I'm really I, running it up with I opaque I think they today. all look like the, the dude on the front of Bounty. The Bounty paper towels? No. I feel like everyone Vermont? in Vermont looks like that. That's crazy. I've never met somebody from Vermont. Never. Everyone's always like, oh, I moved from Michigan. Cool. Well, there's 26 people that have ever lived in Vermont. The population of Vermont is maple syrup. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Men's Health magazine named Burlington one of America's most the co factory sex, most sex unhappy cities, second Jesus. only to Portland, Maine. Port that's what I just said. Yeah. I know yeah. both those places don't be fucking sex unhappy. Yeah, yeah. All right, and then I have a Wait. couple words for you. Fucking move. That's crazy to not get a nut off and, and then, then stay there. Yeah. Can you imagine? Move like, to oh, Scottsdale. Oh, I'm so sexually frustrated. Oh, I'm just going to stay in my fucking what? If I'm sexually frustrated, what, I'm moving. What makes a state not sexually active? Ugly. <laughs> no, because I think. No, I know. Everybody be fucking. That was like the biggest thing that like blew my mind was like learning that the band kids back in the day. Piped. Played more than just a tuba. Skin flute. <laughs> <laughs> but in our stupid brains, we're like only football players and jocks have sex. And then the weird band kids who walk around waddling like two penguins in the hallways who never let go. Yeah. Lay it down. Oh, yeah. Dude, lay it motherfucker down. coming in tubas. Oh, yeah. They put guitar here on in the background. They just run it up. They had more sex than popular kids back in the day. Yeah, oh, yeah. Yeah, just fucking in the back of their mom's Buick Enclave. <laughs> what, what, Ver, what is, Ver, what, can you see what the average Vermont guy and girl look like? Yeah. Why, why are people not fucking? Uh, yeah, this is this, upsetting. The, you ever just go to a Snapchat and hit a random city and see what's going on over there? Some cities, not looking good. How well, are Androids still shitty phone quality? They still can't record to this day. So either Androids are either like the most crystal clear you can record three miles away, or it looks like somebody was filming in a dishwasher. I don't know. Also, fuck dishwashers. They don't work. <laughs> Do they? Have you ever opened a dishwasher like, ah, everything's dry? And unless my yeah. dishwasher just sucks dick. Yeah, well, mine does too. It's like it just it just stops working. Stop. Then, what? Stops working. It's not dry. Everything's wet, wet. Oh. Let. I, I'd rather just wash it by hand. I'd throw a plate away. Yeah. Shut the hell up. Enchilada sauce. I hate when plates get like the food caked on it. You're yeah. Like, I was gone for six hours, and all of a sudden you're just on the plate. <sighs> yeah, I'll throw a Pyrex ray. No problem. A what? A Pyrex. I'm, Mike, I'm Michael. What's up, man? How you doing? James. 
<laughs> James Bond, hose. He, well, he would say Bond, James Bond, right? If I was the one, I'd slap him in the face. Well, it's also funny to lead with Bond and then follow up with James. Bond's yeah. so much cooler than the name James Bond. Nice. James. And the giant peach? Was that an ass? End the episode. <laughs> yeah. Who was James? James? The, James and the giant peach. What was that story about? A giant peach. Sex? Was it? I don't know. Hold on. Did he just have a giant peach? Do you know what I mean? Or did he uh, grow it? Was it a magic beanstalk? Probably First, a lot of GMOs in that peach. A hundred percent. Do you eat organic shit or use whatever the hell? I don't give a mother. I don't shit. either. My girl is all about. She's like, no, no, don't get that. I got the organic. Oh, I don't give a heck. What is the difference? There's no. There is no difference. You know what the difference is? The sticker says something different. That's it. So the organic one, what grows up with a family? <laughs> what? Yeah. What the hell? There is no difference. One has one has like pesticides. The other one doesn't. Eat it. We're all gonna die. Or what? So I'm I'm, gonna, I'm not gonna eat this peach. So I'm gonna last a year and a half longer. Cool. I'm 96. I don't give a fuck. I'll jump in front of an Amtrak train. <laughs> my 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 bones hurt. My bones hurt. My bones hurt. <laughs> you know you know people are like, oh you smoke a cigarette oh fucking you lose. Was it? Yeah. It was, Good. It was like each cigarette's 11 minutes. Good. Is your body take like is your body taking note of that like keeping a a, a uh, like a tally? I'm, yeah, I almost said trolley. <laughs> too early, Dave. It's why not, are we here? It's, it's not, it's why not are we here? It's not too early, but here's my point. All a these things, all, Go ahead. But all these things that are like, oh, it's gonna take you know an hour off your life or whatever, whatever. It, it, like, say combined, it's like 11, 11 years, right? Uh, wouldn't you rather go at eighty nine than a hundred? You think those eleven years are fire? Yeah. You think you're fucking hosing you can on a shit yacht? yourself in public? Exactly, dude. You're shitting yourself. <laughs> you have you have a colonoscopy bag, whatever the hell those things are called. You're pissing in a Franzia. gator. What? <laughs> How's the service on that? <laughs> I don't know. At what age do you just clock out? Seventy three. Done. Yeah. Oh, I can't believe we got really close within one year. Yeah. Yeah. I think seventy three. You're like I'm cool. My dad's like 68. He's got like five more years. Yeah. At what age? Not, not, he's not going to die, but he's got like five, what, six more what years. What age do you think all your happiness turns to like anger? Oh, oh, like get off I my think, lawn? Yeah. I think. Wouldn't men, it be funny if the guy's lawn was shitty? Get Why off want, my lawn. It's concrete. We live in Manhattan. <laughs> <laughs> what lawn? I think guys tend to just grow up and get grumpy and old. Well, no, I've definitely met some bitch grandmas. Jesus Christ. <laughs> you tell me you haven't? But no, for the I, most part, a lot of the grandmas are like this sweet, like, oh, come here, my little snookums. Yeah. I made you a... <laughs> I think grandmas I made you are a still... Cookie castle. Are grandmas still horny? Grandfathers are not. But I think as you get older, don't you get work. more Maybe that's horny. why they're mad. Of course. Their dick don't work. And that's You're why... You're living insert, a life and you can't come. Insert the Bluetooth ad right now. Is there I don't one? think we have one. Um, I'll do it for him. Okay. Code, code socks. Um... No, yeah, I think you, yeah. Is that why? Because you can't come? You're like, fucking, I'm pissed. Yeah, you lose cum, you gain scoliosis. It's a whole, life is terrible. Like, it's just inverted. Like, as you get older, you get more wiser, but your cock doesn't work. What the hell? I don't give a shit. Yeah, you're like, if I was so smart, I'd find out a way to make my dick work. Of course. So I know the encyclopedia, but I can't come on a woman's face? Awesome. <laughs> what the fuck? What the hell's the point? You can't drink three tequilas and fuck a girl in the back of a goddamn Kia Leaf. This is crazy. You that's can't not even a car. Kia Leaf, Kia Leaf. Nissan Leaf. <laughs> that's what I want to say. But that's a that's a that's a figure for life. It's two <laughs> things that don't work, but they used to work. You put them together, it doesn't work. Yeah. Why can't you just replace your dick out? Oh, my car needs new oil change. Boom, oil change fixed. One hundred percent. Dick. That's why I always say. I think we'll be there about my girlfriend's vagina. What? I'd like I'd like look at another girl and be like, give me your vagina, and then switch it out. Like a Mrs. Potato Head. I don't think that's going to be a popular opinion with her. 100% no. <laughs> I'm just hoping we don't clip this part. <laughs> Wait, what would you... What would you... It doesn't really make a logical sense, obviously. Because if you just if you just interchange the vaginas, it's still the same person. Right. I guess what I'm saying is... All of a sudden, one day it just has like a little tattoo above it. It's like, your name. This is what, this is what I would what I think would be fire. And, I, you know... Okay. I'll just say it and we can work backwards. I think if you could take someone's like consciousness and then put them in some other person, so it is your girlfriend or is the girl you're dating, or whatever, but it's a different looking person. I mean, at this point, you gotta just cheat. No, you gotta just cheat. No, because the consciousness. <laughs> you're like if they had a different brain and a different vagina. Not a different brain. <laughs> Not a different brain. What I'm saying, okay, so say, so say my girl was like, wow, I really think the dude that works at Trader Joe's, the guy who stacks bananas, is hot as shit. Probably, hundred percent. So I'm like, bet. 
So you want that for tonight? Cool. So let's just take my consciousness, download it into that dude. So I am that dude. I just look like that. Like I'm Bitch, looking through my Lime eyes. Wire? What do you mean download? Where are you getting these downloads? Listen, dude, I don't know. I don't work for Tesla. They'll figure it out. I do. All right. You don't work for them. Elon Musk. Actually, you're the opposite. You're the opposite of work for them. They work for me. No. <laughs> <laughs> so wait, you, but, but you're getting his mannerisms? No. I'm, it's just, just figure, just think about it as like a, a meat suit, right? Worse. And I take, Somehow worse. A hundred percent worse. You guys are just Sims characters? Sort of, but you take Sims my consciousness. Fucking. So say that my girl wants to fuck Jack, which she does, she told me, right? <laughs> right. And, uh, and then so, so I just take my consciousness and download it into Jack. So I am Jack. I feel Jack. I got Jack's cock, but I'm still me. I'm looking through my eyes like a POV, but I'm like, oh shit, I'm Jack. I'm I'm 6'3 or whatever how tall you are. I feel great. Us. Do you where's Jack us? at this point? Like where's Jack's consciousness? Uh, Jack's who cares? <laughs> Somewhere downloading in the metaverse. No, okay, all right. Wait, all right. But, but you're, I hear what you're saying. She's still banging you? Technically, she's banging me because it's my consciousness. <laughs> But then but when you come Jack. back into Michael body later and yeah. she still wants to bang Jack, you're going to feel bad. But ha well, no, I'm going to make it bad on purpose, obviously. <laughs> <laughs> I'm very lost. But you get the concept, right? What, how did Parent Trap work again? <laughs> <laughs> Is that where the mom and... <laughs> The mom and the the daughter switched. No, that's Freaky Friday, oh, which yeah. is which is weird. No one wants to <laughs> fucking talk about that. Yeah, there was a not, all of a sudden you're your mom and the dad's like, oh honey, yeah, yeah. I got some Merlot tonight. Should we send the kids to the movie theater again? You're like, dad. He's like, yeah, you can call me daddy, bitch. No, I know, papa, no. father. No, weird. And no one, no one wants to say anything. We Freaky were, Friday. What is that? That was the plot, right? The mom. Yeah. 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 All, so yeah, all yeah, weird, illegal. Which very one, legal. Which one's very parent weird. trap. Parent trap is where there's the two twins, and one of them lives with the divorced dad. One of them lives with the divorced mom, and then they try to get their parents back together by like switching places, pretending to be the other sister, or something. Mm. Which like, why does that work? <laughs> like, you know what I mean? So you like, I hate your mother. Yeah, terrible. Your mother hasn't spoke to me in 19 years. All of a sudden, kids are like, let's get the fam back together. <laughs> yeah, you know, We're so both going to Sequoia National Park. Oh, I wonder where they're going, too. It's just so weird. Like, oh, let's get them in the same room. They'll fall in love again. We got divorced because you cheated on me with a T-Mobile guy. <laughs> and we now met at a bowling alley. Yeah, and you thought this would work. <laughs> and, now, and now we're going to just meet and all of a sudden fall in love again? I hate you. You don't clean the fucking dishes. You never do laundry. You were late on the mortgage three times in a row. But, I mean, you, a lot of parents do stay together for the kids. Are you going to do that? What? Do you, what? <laughs> I, I am not married. I don't have kids. I'm so far away from I where know, I could. But, but you, you understand the concept. Would, would, like, would you, stay, would you stay for the kids? No. no. Me? Fuck the kids. Not, whoa, don't click hey, that. Don't click it. that. Uh, for you Friday. I, it depends on how old they are. I would make sure the kid. I would probably. They live. have to be eighteen. <laughs> <laughs> well, <laughs> welcome to Stiff Socks, <laughs> aka Michael's new show. Because I'm gone. Because that was illegal. I, uh, I would probably try to live close to the vicinity of their mother. That yes. way, they can still bounce yes. back and forth. Yes. Like when it when it's like by co well, never mind. Wait, no. What? How far were you from your dad growing up? Too far? No. Uh, the first whatever years he lived in Virginia, so not too far. Virginia. <laughs> yeah. This is. Ain't nobody lived there. A lot of people live there. Hoes in Virginia. There, you're lying, sir. Hoes in Virginia. Just Google hot lady hear, from Virginia. I just want to hear that in a rap song. I got hoes in Virginia. They do. Virginia Beach got hoes. I've been which there. Which I'm gonna be. <laughs> Plug it. Well, no, we we both went. We were there. Yeah. The shows were so fun. A guy threw a seat at me. What? Do you remember that? One of the shows? On the top oh, floor, yeah. a guy threw a seat at me. Oh, receipt. I thought you said uh, a seat. He no. threw a seat at you. It's so funny that you worry your whole life about like crafting these perfect jokes, isn't that? And then it's just some drunk guy named Gunther who's like, guh, 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 and throws a receipt. I'm like, you idiot. Your name is on this receipt. I have that footage somewhere. <laughs> But yeah, like you, you think you're, you're, you're you think yeah. comedy and the art is the most important thing, and you're like these people need to hear these words. All yeah. of a sudden, motherfuckers playing paper football with your head. Oh, don't give a heck. <laughs> and look, I'm I'm like I'm crafting this perfect callback, and someone's just eating quesadillas, not paying attention, yeah. talking about how their fucking Pikachu went up in value. It what did. the hell? It did. Are those still a thing? First of all, is Bitcoin real anymore? No, no. 
Okay, also- NFTs, gone. Bitcoin, gone. Pokemon Go, gone. Is Elon Musk a real person? He just bought Twitter. Like, officially? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Whoa. Yeah, he's like in there doing CEO stuff. Didn't he fire people immediately? Mm Mm-hmm. Do you think the funny be- thing is now his his first project is he's gonna make he's gonna take away verification, but now anyone can get verified if they pay for it. This is dumb. That's why I deleted That's Twitter. I deleted ever. Twitter I think a year ago. That app sucks. Piss me off. Stupid. Dumb. Let me learn how to do the renegade and shut the hell up on TikTok. <laughs> I mean, Twitter is it actually? I do sometimes scroll on Twitter, and I think because I stop on like more wholesome stuff, I'm getting a more wholesome feed. Now it's just like really cute puppies like falling over tennis balls. It's like the cutest thing ever. What's your Instagram algorithm look like? Hose. Goth. It. I, I don't even mean it to we be. We should look at each other's. Uh, uh, should we? Or is that weird? You know what I'm saying? Like, should we look at each other's uh, explore, explore page and just see? Oh god. I mean, mine's my, mine's, mine's a a first thing I see is my cat Bobby Lee, uh, Aaron Rodgers. What? Tom Aaron Rodgers. A lot of cats. Yeah, Aaron Rodgers. I do sports. No, you don't. <laughs> All right. Look, this is so funny. My feed is just hose and stand up. <laughs> Look at this. It's, <laughs> Damn. It's it's literally Why, just. Where are my hose at on here? I, it's just hose and stand up clips. This is literally it. Isn't that funny? Stand up clips are competing for hose and hose are competing for stand up clips. That's exactly. Dude, I can't. Everyone leave me alone. Not you guys. Just the fucking explore page. Can you imagine just sh- just bobbing your tits up and down for three seconds and be like, oh, that's content. Post it. Yeah. I can too. Running a business. One tit at a time. Bring back the middle class. Let's do it. <laughs> What's the middle class? Are we in a recession? Ben had. <laughs> no, I don't think it's official yet. What, what makes it official? Isn't it like if two terms or, or two? I don't know. Alan Greenspan uh, just fucking, he pops his head up and he's like, oh, there's my shadow. It's the funniest thing I ever said. Because we, we are. We are? Who? Yeah. The that sounds like an owl. Who? <laughs> Owls be dumb as shit. They never. Owls know, always they never be... know anybody. <laughs> Owls always. Good night. <laughs> Owls are always ready to give head. Would you do? Who? A... <laughs> who? Do you think it's no? Who is more like? You know, they're, they're, oh, they're yeah. gauging the, the audience. Ghosts, on the other hand, are ready to. <laughs> First of all, ghost, get a fucking life. This is my house now. You're dead. Mm-hmm. Also, you were born in 1706. What, why are you still here? Ooh. I feel like every girl I've met in Los Angeles thinks their apartment is haunted. The, yeah. The water runs in the middle of the night. Bitch. You left it on. <laughs> it's also, it's also the washing I don't washing think you machine. know how plumbing works. No. What's that sound? It's the air conditioner, you dumb idiot. Or it's like a raccoon outside. It's a man. Oh, yeah. They're scratching at the door. It's the mailman. Right. Wake up. Or the the steps are like really creaky and like, I think somebody's in here with me. Everyone just wants their life to be more exciting. You know, people are like, I'm a witch now. No, you're not. You're right. a failed actor. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's, you know what I mean? They just, everyone's like, oh, I think they just want more excitement in their life. So you think that they like latch onto a thing like yep. saying my house is haunted? Yes. Because it, oh, oh God. Yep. My life's crazy now. God, I'm trying to think. Some people just say dumb shit. Like us? I love it. <laughs> oh. Oh, well, some, yeah, of course. Yeah, yeah. Of course, but we have a microphone in front of us, <laughs> a guy who posts TikTok clips about it, so it's right. more scientific. Right. You fuck with saving money? <laughs> <laughs> God damn. Liquid IV. IV. I'll tell you what, dude. I, just, what? I was at a wedding over the weekend, and I brought Liquid IV and you would have thought I was the bride and groom. People loved me. These were great. I was like, you know, guys, we're being out here. It's hot. Let's stay yep. hydrated. Let's do it, right? Yeah. You know what's crazy? It's coming up on cooler months, right? And in the hotter months, you go, wow, I'm thirsty. I understand I'm dehydrated. But cooler weather, dude, makes it easy to miss the science of hydration, okay? Like overheating, or perspiration, which means that even more important to keep your body hydrated. That's where Liquid IV comes in. Fuels yourself, dude. Like we've been promoting them for a while. They're great. I, me, Michael and I drink them all the time. They're stocked up in the studio. So look, if you want to get your Liquid IV in bulk today, I call... <laughs> You're getting taken out by a hiccup? It's probably because I haven't had enough Liquid IV. If you want Liquid IV, you can get it in bulk. Bulk! This is what they used to call me in college. Bulk. <laughs> At Costco. Or what? if you ain't got that membership but you still want to save money, get 15% off when you go to liquidiv.com and use code SOCKS, Socks. at checkout. That's 15% off anything. Whoa. Anything? 
Anything. Guess what's in here? What? A good deal. Liquidiv.com. Promo code socks. 15% off anything. God damn. Oh my God. I didn't tell you guys yet. I'm I'm really shifting gears here, but can I say this story? Please. What it'd be so funny well, if you We're just talking no. about literally nothing today. No, but it's fun. I love it's talking great. about nothing. It's so we, great. Oh, real quick, are we are we are in a recession? Yeah. Officially. We've had two consecutive quarters of negative gross domestic product. But you know, they changed the definition to to have it not be in a recession. That's so funny. No, I swear to God, they did. I know, but it's like, yeah. oh, are we in a recession? No. They are, changed are real? it. No, we changed I used to think everything. recession and receding were the same word. And I thought it'd be funny if there was a receding hairline also with a receding recession. I'm going to go in my car real quick. <laughs> you know what's funny is when you change the definition, do you have to just call Webster's and be like, yo, what up, kid? I want to I want to change something. Who's hey, Webster's? The dictionary? Webster's dictionary. Where do they get these words from? They don't know. Oh, oh, that's what I wanted to talk about. How come all languages are different? Why is that a thing? Whoa. No, no, no. But why? Math is all the same. Why can't language all be the same? If you go to China, you go one plus one equals, but they, they know math is the same thing. One is one is two is two is all the same shit. So why the fuck? Why 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 did you stand by one river in goddamn Germany and you're like skin skin sky and then you come to fucking Vermont and you're like hey what's up? Wh why? It should be all the same. And you stand by the Eiffel Tower and you're, you're like right. oh baguette a je m'appelle babble.com idiot. Just we all should just have the same fucking language. You're on to something. I am. Start a GoFundMe for the world. <laughs> I mean, uh, no, I, I hear you. I'm just, I'm just confused how it happened. That, that's, I mean, I'm, I'm yelling, but I'm just confused about how, like, wh why didn't the we all- The math angle does make sense, so I get that. Right, because everything, like, all math is all the same. That is interesting. Well, I don't know. And then English is just like a cornucopia of, like, all different languages, What right? percentage of the world speaks English is really small, right? Like, we're, we're heavily outnumbered, right? Oh, by a lot. Yeah. There's so many people on this planet. How does the world hold everyone? How- yeah, how come we don't fall out of the Milky Way? Do you really think it's all real, though? No. <laughs> <laughs> Motherfuckers out here acting like space is real. <laughs> SpaceX? <laughs> how has somebody not done a porn called SpaceX? They have. First of all, sure. how come no, no one's done a porn called SpaceXXX? And it's just people blowing people in Teslas. Let's. I mean, we should have a separate- I have a Tesla. You do? I need to film it. Have you gotten a- No. Nothing? I need some roadhead in there. Stat. Well, also I might call it Task Rabbit. <laughs> <laughs> I got a task for you. <laughs> hey, first of all, hundred percent. There's people on Task Rabbit that that's their task, and it's probably labeled something yeah, weird. What do you think it would be? Teddy bear repairman. <laughs> <laughs> oh God. Oh, <laughs> uh, some with pipes. We'll fix your pipes. Will Pipes is a great porn name. Will, Will Pipes. Pipes. See, Will I am pipes? <laughs> Cut him out of the episode. <laughs> Completely. <laughs> Will no. pipes goes crazy. There's Will pipes pipes on LinkedIn. Oh god, What's LinkedIn's fucking a LinkedIn real pussy? website. This is so funny. One of my goals in life is just to never make a LinkedIn in comedy. Like that was my level of success. Like I never want to have to make a LinkedIn, and I haven't made one. Why would you have to ever make one? I'm saying comedy. back back in no, I'm saying like back in my when oh, I worked oh, oh, at my oh. office job. <clears throat> I understand. They're like, do you have one of these? Also, I didn't like because like LinkedIn, there's like automatic buttons. People and like if you get a new job and you update it, and then all these like horny ass yeah. corporate bros are like, congratulations on the job, zing zing. Shut the <laughs> hell up. There's been a lot of pussy and exchanged on LinkedIn stock market for sure. Oh yeah, I didn't know the website actually worked. LinkedIn? Yeah. What do you mean? I don't know. I never understood it. I thought it was like Wikipedia for rich people. I, I thought it was I don't know just people weird. used it on the daily. Like right. if you're looking for jobs, it's like social it's great media. to submit. Yeah, but people just out here scrolling LinkedIn. Yeah. People get hoes off LinkedIn. That's what I mean. What is the it's weirdest cool. app people get hoes off of? Task Rabbit. Like the Cinnabon app? <laughs> <laughs> you think anyone tried to fuck one of those uh those Domino's delivering robots? <laughs> yeah. Domino's was innovative as hell. Remember when they put a fucking oven in the side of their cars? <laughs> An oven? You never saw this? No. No. Google Domino's oven cars in the side. They had these weird looking silver cars and on the side they literally had an oven to keep your pizza warm. Oh, oh no, I do know what you mean. Yeah, the, just the, an Android on wheels. That bitch for <laughs> sure blown up. Domino's has always been on some weird. Yeah, dude, fucking oven on the side of the car. Imagine you're on a red light, somebody runs up, steals your pizza. Hot. What? What? Is, oh. Is this to keep it warm or does it bake it in there? It just keeps it warm. 
I don't know if it's an oven oven. I think it just is ventilated and keeps it hot. Hmm. Yeah, it says it's a, a warming warming oven. So it's not cooking it, but keeping it perfect temp. Is it perfect? Because every time I get a Domino's pizza, I burn this out of my mouth. God, Did you know Domino's. that Domino's pizza tracker isn't really tracking? I heard that fucked me up. Maybe very sad. And they give you a fake name. Yep. It's like Cleopatra's working on your order. You're like, bitch, hold Cleopatra. on. Cleopatra. <laughs> Dude, there's nobody normal that works at Domino's. <laughs> yeah, you're totally right. <laughs> if your name is like John, you don't work at Domino's, you work at Papa. John's. I got it. I love Domino's. I don't know how they make their cheese, like the little dots, the perfect. Oh, so good. Do they have gluten free cars? They do. You know what we're ordering for lunch? Hose. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> oh, by the way, I can't believe you never come in your car. You have white seats. You don't, There's no even cleanup. I'll say that again. There. There, n- a. <laughs> no, it's no, it's not. If you can't see it, it's like a goddamn tree in the forest when no one's there. Did it really fall? Who knows? The answer is yes. Did it though? Why why is it on the ground? What do you think it did? Lie down respectfully? But no one's there, so how do you even know it's down? First of all, you let me ask you this. It. How do you how trees do, probably just good. No, I was just gonna say, how do you even know that a tree fell if no one's there? Like when someone's like, if a tree falls, stop. How do you know it fell? Do you think you're asking big questions here. I don't know if I'm ready for this at eight in the morning. <laughs> do you think trees ever get insecure, like insecure about their age? Like you know how the rings always show. Do you think they're like, stop looking at my rings? Yeah. <laughs> what if people had that? Whoa. People do have that. They're called liver spots. <laughs> I was gonna say wrinkles, but liver spots is true. Yeah, you can't hide liver spots, but also that comes at like fifty-seven. You know what's funny is I, when I was real young, someone told me, oh, dude, my art teacher. She was a wacky lady. Art teachers are yeah. always looking for that dick Picasso. Oh. Hose, Picasso hose. No one started. Not one person made the, that. The, somebody commented right now and said, "LOL." Great. You all said you had a story. I can't believe I'm switching gears. I never talked about this. This is what happened. I was in Portland and uh, I was waiting for my uh, Daniel and Will, two very funny comedians that were uh, gonna do spots with me on my show. And uh, I was outside of the hotel in Portland. And by the way, everyone who came to Portland, thank you so much. You guys are fucking awesome. Um, but I was waiting out front of the hotel and I was sitting on the curb and uh, the security guard came up to me. He's like, uh, excuse me, sir. Uh, what room are you staying in? And I looked up, I go, what? He goes, what room are you staying in? Are you staying in this hotel? And I was like, yeah. He goes, what room are you staying in? And I go, what are you doing, man? I'm just, I'm just sitting on the curb. And yeah. he's like, he's like, exactly. You can't sit on the curb here. I go, I can't sit on the curb. Of the hotel that I'm staying at? He goes, at this point, I don't know you're staying at this hotel. I go, buddy, I'm, it's 913. 913 is the room number. And then he goes, what's your last name? I go, no. And then, I, then it got a little bad. And then I was like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, this is the funny part. I go, I go, I go, I go, sir, do, do I look like, oh. I know, I go, do I look oh. like I don't stay at this hotel? That's big, like my dad is a lawyer in <laughs> Do I look like I would be out front just loitering? <laughs> I go, do I look like, this is the funny part, I go, do I look like I don't stay at this hotel? And he goes, he goes, he goes, sir, I've kicked, I've kicked people out of this hotel that look way better than you. <laughs> wow. And then he goes, he goes, I'm, then he goes back to her, he goes, I'm not saying you're homeless looking. I go, no, no, that's exactly what you said to me. That's exactly well, what he said. Portland. Yeah. And you that, are pretty ugly for Portland, I will say. Because Portland's hot is ugly. You know what I'm saying? Yes. Like you're oh, LA hot, but Portland, you're like, Ugh. Oh, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. No beard? 5'9", no Yikes. beard. Yeah. Legs. No flannel. Zero. I had zero Can't flannel. do this with any facial hair? No. <laughs> really? Yeah, but you're, you're going to walk everywhere and not unicycle? I don't think I'd be a good looking guy in Portland either. I look so dumb with a hat or a beanie. My head is just. It, it, I don't I look think like you look bad co- with a beanie. With a beanie? I don't think you look bad. I look like a background actor for the, the Coneheads movie. <laughs> like, I feel like, I don't know. I, I wish. Like, I used to just buy beanies and hats back in the day. I'd be like, this is going to look sick. Then I'd get home, put it on. Like, no. Is Lids still around the store? Yes. How come they don't have. They do. It's called Full Lock. You know what high school love was? Was getting. <laughs> yeah. Was getting your girlfriend's initials on your lids hat. You'd be like KJ, and you're like, nice. Uh, that wasn't a thing in my school at all. Is that a West Coast thing, Gabe? I've never. I mean, I wasn't getting hoes, you know. So I don't yeah, know. Yeah, he were I getting never... a black tar. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> all I'm saying is like there was like those like weird ways to show that you like love that person. Is you either like put them in your top eight, 
Yeah. Which is always a big toss up is between her and like your best friend. Also, it'd be, I would go too fast. I'd move too fast. I would like oh. kiss a girl once in the movie theater and be like, yeah, you're number one. <laughs> yeah. Where the fuck's Tom? <laughs> I think in this day and age, if they did have top eights, like girls would like ghost men because they're like, he put me on his top eight like way too quick. What a weirdo. But it's also like publicly, like I'm fucking. I mean, dude, that, w- that top eight shit created havoc. Mine was just all dudes. And then for the one time I had like a girlfriend, I put her like seven and everyone's like, whoa, 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 whoa. That's what I mean. And then the guy who got kicked out was yes. like, you're that- telling me her tits are better than mine? I'm like, yes, absolutely. Yeah. So Portland, guy yells at you. He says so you're he, ugly. So he goes, I've kicked better pe- better looking people out than you. And then I go, and then and then he goes, I'm not, I'm not saying you're homeless. I go, no, that's exactly what you said. And I go, I go, man, let me just talk to your manager. What? Yeah, dude, I was fucking <laughs> What? Heated. I was heated. I'm cause I'm just sitting on the fucking curb. But why why do you engage? Why do you just be like you're, oh I'm here, I'm nine seventeen. You're right. But betterhelp.com promo code socks. hundred percent. But the energy that he approached me on was not great. And I'm just sitting here, man. Leave me alone. I'm going over bits on my phone. Leave me alone. Oh, you're talking out loud, yelling about feet on the curb. No. Why do you think he thought you were homeless? It's got to be a problem. Put a foot in my mouth, goddamn flange. Honestly, honestly, you're right. But like, I see somebody like that, and pre, I used to be, vi- and I still am a lot like this too. But I would be like, I just I, now I just I, I just go. It's just a guy just doing whatever. The I hell. know. Well, let me get to the end of the story because I feel bad. So you uh, talk to the manager. Yeah, and then I fuck go, the manager gonna do. He's like, well, what's your hotel room? I know. I don't know, man. I just didn't want to talk to this dude anymore. He was, he was making me angry. Sunglasses on or off? Oh, off. There's, it's Portland. There's no sun. Uh, so, yeah. so uh, I go, I go, man, let me, can, can I just talk to your manager? He goes, actually, the manager's not here. I go, the manager's not here at 4.15 p.m.? And he goes, he goes, I don't know. No, no. And I was like, it, my last name is Blaustein, dude. Blaustein. Last name Blaustein. And he goes, he goes, okay. Blaustein? I go, yeah. He goes, okay, okay. Then he takes like three steps to go inside. And I go, hey, man, you know what? And he goes, what? I'm like, I'm sorry, man. I don't know why I'm acting like this. You're just doing your job. And I'm really, really sorry. I'm and proud dude, of you for saying th- that. Yeah, I was proud of myself too. And I was like, I don't, I don't, honestly, I don't know what any of this is. You came up to me. You asked me the room number and my last name. I should have just gave it to you. I apologize. I, I'm, I'm sorry. He goes, man, no worries. I'm just, I'm just trying to. He's like, I just, I have to kick people out a lot here because it's just like in a weird area. I go, I, I get it. I'm so sorry. He goes, hey, it's all good, man. And they go inside. All I'm saying is growth, growth, growth. Dude, I wish I could well, be, you know what? Grow taller. I have post feeling regret. It's like that post net regret where you see a glimpse of your reflection. Yeah. In the bukkake scene, it like yeah. you see your mirror in the cum shot, and you're like. I got to get help. I got to touch grass. I got to feel the sunlight. Yeah. It's like that with feelings. And I get that now too. Yeah. Where if I like snap on something, I'll be like, all right, I need to go out of my way to take acknowledgement. I fucked up. I'm sorry. Yeah. And I just don't, I don't know. I think any part of authority bothers me. Like, I don't like that. I mean, you guys, and I've said this a hundred times on the show. I just, anyone who like talks to me, like I'm like a, like a kid. It kills me. So I just felt like, did what's he, your what, what's your what's your room number? Yeah. Did he come in hot right off the gate? Hot. Okay. Oh, like, yeah. oh and I well, wasn't, dude. I I had some like some of that yeah. in San Francisco. We were doing the shows out there. So fun. Blind lady clip doing numbers. Oh yeah. <laughs> Shout yeah. out to her. Um, but right as we walk in, so a lot of these theaters I've been doing, some of them are like Union House, and they're very strict on filming. Right. I'm yeah. with my camera guy. He's holding his camera. It's not on. He's not filming me. He's not vlogging. He's holding it, and the guy just goes, "That's gonna be a problem." Right off the bat. God. And then I already was annoyed because they were already like said we could film X amount. Yeah. And then they were like trying to cut that down. And I was like, no, no, no. All right. Well, you can just tell me personally. Right. You don't got to just say it to your staff. I'm right here. We're not filming. That's for the outside content. We're not even filming inside. We know what's going on. So you can talk to me like a normal human. Yeah. And I love then it. He was like, that's how you want to start the weekend. I was like, yeah. Well, you're talking passive aggressive shit about this when we haven't done anything wrong. Yeah. And then it got really quiet. And then the house manager was like, oh, okay. Well, we will deal with this stuff over here. But right off the bat, because yeah. he was just like, that's going to be screaming. It. I don't, I'll, I'll have any conversation with anyone in the whole world about anything you guys want to talk about. If you just approach it like you're talking to a person. If yeah. he came up to me and was like, uh, excuse me, sir. Say, what's up? Um, you, you can't really sit on the curb. Are you staying at this hotel? And I'd say, yeah. He goes, what, what's your room number? Just, I just want to just verify. And I'm like, oh, 913, blah, blah, blah. And I know everything can't be structured perfect for each person to what yeah, they Yeah, you need. don't know he was going through that day. Correct. And so I, I understand it. It's, it's also, it's it's on 
me to to accept certain ways to be able to talk to me, not in the most aggressive well, I th- way that I think. I, I think you don't take it as an attack on yourself. You put that on them. You go, they're talking like this because yep. they are blank in this yep. space. I, how I receive it is up to me. Right. You're, you're in control of your own happiness. Yes. If I yell at you, you can be like, damn, Trevor's really mad. Or you can be like, well, Trevor's going through some shit. Correct. Not me, but Correct. Trevor is. That's great. But that's but that's I progress. So I have so much I have so uh, much of a hard time, especially quote unquote authority figures talking like that. Oh yeah, it fucking Same kills here. me. Same dude. here. But that's why, like, when TSA idiots are like, like, like you ever go through the TSA and you like forget you have a gum wrap in your back pocket? He's like, yeah. I said empty your back pocket. Yeah, yeah. It's like, man, shut up. Yeah, shut the. F- I have L'Oreal eight ounces in my bag. Worry about that. Yeah, I have a Glock in my backpack. <laughs> But really? it's just you're working the, on my fucking you know, Apple no, Watch. No job needs to be mean unless you work for that dicks that shit dumb restaurant. I want to go there. We should crowd work clip. I would love to. Oh. Hey, nice hair. What are you, Ellen Jenner? Shut the fuck up. You <laughs> yeah. didn't make it in comedy. Come follow me. You can do quickly, a time five quickly. Shut up. I'd be like, I saw you run the same joke for that table over there. Hack. I want to do the opposite where it's all compliments. I want to fuck <laughs> and then you put the hat on. <laughs> <laughs> or uh, we go on a dick and we just be really nice to the guy. Hey, what's up? You got a fucking nice haircut. Thank you so much. May God bless you. I want to do Mormons at a dicks. Someone called Charlie. You can't say those two words in the sentence. Whoa. Mormons dicks. Um, yeah, I don't know. I, I'm proud of you for, for Th- going up. Dude, thank saying you. Saying something, right? Thank you. Every man. time, every time I, I immediately feel bad when I like get out, yep. of, out of that. Mm-hmm. And I usually try mm-hmm. to rectify. Yeah. Yeah. That happens. I know. It's like life, and that's what this is what it is. Well, I think ultimately also it's like you're out of your element. This guy's in his job. You're just sitting there minding your own business. And then this guy comes up, you're like, man, fucking I can't chill. That's that's where I was at. I was just like, dude, I'm just sitting on the curb. And I'm like, but but from his from his standpoint, he's like the head of security. I'm sure he's I mean, he told me that he's kicked people out all the time. The hotel was it's in downtown Portland, so it's not like an awesome area. So I mean he was just doing his job, but I just was like Dude, I'm this hotel is not free. I'm paying like a good amount of money to stay here. I yeah. can't sit on the fucking carpet and just go over bits. I'm waiting for my goddamn Uber. I don't know. It just I, I feel it. God damn. Good evening, good morning, good morrow. Our cocks are out. Not really, but they could be. They could be, and, and they would be they, rock hard if they were out. Dude, honestly, last night my girlfriend was like, Wow, are you a statue? Because your shit's rock hard. She didn't say that. Nope. <laughs> she, she never said that. Ever in my whole life. But if she did see it, she would have said it. She would have. She would have said it. But I was shooting my damn. I made out of marble. Yep. I'm trying to marble that cock. None of this makes sense. <laughs> but if no, you it does make sense. It does. Blue Chew. And I'll tell you what it is. It's it's a unique online service that delivers the same active ingredients as Viagra and Cialis, but in a chewable tablet and a fraction of the cost you can take it any time day or night so you know you can plan ahead or be ready whenever the opportunity arises you, you know don't what else arises ahead. cock but Whoa. yeah you don't, you don't have to plan ahead and it's shipped straight to your door no more awkward visits to cvs or the doctor and be like excuse me doc my little peter's a little slow these days <laughs> my little peter is not standing for the <laughs> the blood of allegiance is, blue chew is nice for your cockiness moral of the story <laughs> you can try it for free you can. All you gotta do is pay five dollars for shipping. Yeah, which again. I mean, you gotta pay the UPS driver. You gotta. You see those short shorts? <laughs> Budget cuts. Not <laughs> enough. Of course, not enough. Of fabric. course. More knees. All right. So where do you get it? More we'll knees. Tell for the you more knees. Exactly, dude. Bluetooth.com. And on there, use promo code socks to receive your first month free. Plus, you can also check out more details and important safety information. And we'd like to thank Blue Chew for sponsoring this podcast. One more time, Bluetooth.com, promo code socks. God damn. I will say though, and I'm not bringing a story up to be like, I'm a good guy, but I sort of am. And just kind of an interesting story in Portland, we walk on the street and there's this, the car was like dead in the middle of the street. And one guy was pushing the car going yeah. real slow. Yeah. So I was like, ah, fuck it. So I went over there and I helped them. And then Will and Daniel, my other buddies, they came over. So all four of us were like pushing the car and we pushed like three blocks to a shell gas station. Damn. Yeah. And the dude that was pushing was like so appreciative. And the guy that was like, you know, steering the car, he came, he got out at the gas station, super appreciative because guys, thank you so much. I'm actually disabled and pulled his uh, right arm out. And it was like, you know, um, you know, just like, uh, uh, what's it called? Prosthetic. Thank you. It was a prosthetic 
arm. And he's like, oh, I'm a veteran, so I really appreciate it. It was just such like a, it was like a hallmark narrative of what that would have been. Yeah. It was so. And what's interesting is that if that was in Los Angeles, every guy would have their phone out doing a selfie, like helping this disabled veteran. <laughs> Make sure to like, share, and subscribe. We're going to push it to a Shell gas station. Oh, yeah, before, but before like, they do it. But yeah, yeah. after you push the car, you got to the gas station. Were you looking around and be like, bitch, where's the, where's the newspaper ride up? Three <laughs> hot comedians save the man. I'm looking around. I'm looking for a host. Be like, damn, my forearms are busting out. We got veins on the on the arm. <laughs> oh, Triceps I, busting. Buddy, I was. I was huffing and puffing. Oh, dude, there was one day I actually helped an old lady across the street in my old apartment, like yeah. for real. And like, yeah. like, well, what was happening? It kind of felt like an episode of Twenty Four, but the the shot clock—that's not what it's called. The crosswalk, <laughs> the crosswalk timer was at like seven, six. Oh shit! Five, and she had a ways to go. So I'm out here, one hand. I'm fucking. I'm, I'm hitting some good defense on the car. Yeah, I got yeah, one yeah. hand out here, then I'm helping her, and then she got to the curb, and she was like, "Oh, thank you so, so much, little Sunny." And I was like. You want to be a Wallace member? Yeah, <laughs> Freaky you, Friday. What is? Oh shit! Right now, no, no, but it, it um the high that that brought me helping her. I'm sure you guys felt the same. Yeah, thing. yeah, yeah. How the shows go that night? Fire, great, right? Karma. I believe Fire. in it. You know what's funny about karma? I was in Hawaii shows. This older woman was coming out of the elevator, and her bag, her luggage broke. Right. She couldn't do it. So I just I grabbed it for whatever and brought it to the front desk where she wanted to check out. She was very appreciative. It took uh, uh, 40 seconds. It was fine. Whatever. And then she's like, really? She's like, thank you so much. And I was holding a coffee in the other hand. I go, oh, no problem. I turn. I don't know what happened. The coffee mm. fell out of my hand, smashed on the ground. Brand new coffee. And I looked down, I was like, what the fuck? And the woman, and the woman's super nice. She goes, oh, I'll buy you a new one. I was like, oh, man, don't worry about it. I was almost done, whatever. And uh, I just I turned to my buddy Will and I was like, "What is this? That's the opposite. That's not supposed to happen. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm supposed to get more coffee. Yeah, what the <laughs> fuck is happening? I thought this story was going a different route. Like you turned again and then some other guy was like, "Free coffees? No, no, just on the ground. Does Trader Joe's still give out free coffee? Some, I think some of them. I don't know how they have room for them in those fucking. Tiny it's a, it's doors. a tiny little like little wooden cabinet where they just pump coffee. Yeah. yeah. Funny if over there just with like a full canteen and be like, work today, huh? <laughs> with the water cooler. Why are Trader Joe's so small? Everything about it. The small, small parking lot. The shelves, the shelves probably make you feel really tall though. Oh, I feel great. Maybe that's why the sexual chemistry at Trader Joe's is throbbing. High. Yeah. Oh, excuse me. Let me get past you. Oh, I thought the papayas were out eight. Honk, honk. <laughs> Can't do that. I mean, you illegal. Honest. Don't do that. <laughs> Please don't do that unless it's your homie. But how come in 1920 that wasn't illegal? Your dad how would, your dad back would in tell you went, to do that. Ahuga. But do you think, do you think, you know, how people remember back when you were in the, the street, street days yeah. and you're like, I'm going to the dog park. I, gotta, I just want to try different activities. Yeah. You think people like purposely don't buy a lot of groceries so they can go to the grocery store a lot? Just yeah. to see yes. if there's any, anything out yeah. there. I think people just go to the grocery store just to buy a, a frozen pizza. Just yeah. to see. Yeah. It's, uh, they, they're they not shopping for papayas. They're shopping oh, yeah. for hoes. Yeah. They walk in. Y'all sell sponges? All right. For sure. Sick. Leave. Yeah. Just checking the hoes. God. People go to the library. For sure. They go to bookstores. Nothing like a good book whore. <laughs> <laughs> title. <laughs> Late contender, but title. Book whore? Bookstore? I mean, I'm, I'm serious. I'm serious, man. You don't go to... Uh, you should... You, yeah, I don't know. You should try Not it. for me. Sir. Nah. But you don't have to read. I'm back in. <laughs> <laughs> what am I going to be doing there, though? They Fucking got, on a Game Boy Color? Hello? Hey, what's up? Y'all trying to fuck? No, you look at... There's like magazines, like paintball magazines or something yeah. you can jerk off to. Oh, yeah. There's a fucking 29-year-old man reading a paintball magazine <laughs> in the goddamn corner of a library. They got DVDs? Some of them. What? Get a, go get a Blu-ray. Uh, Blu I'm, I'm talking like an actual Blu-ray. Is Blu-ray still in business? No, there's no way. I love when I see commercials and they're like, Matrix 6, Blu-ray out now. Who in the fuck is buying that? I mean, people, because they wouldn't run the commercials if no one's buying that. But who? When's the last time you guys bought a DVD or a Blu-ray? Long, Never. Long time. Back in the Fandango days. Fandango, I will say, they commented on our goddamn TikTok, and they were very offended. I'm, they at what had you to said. make an account just to comment that. <laughs> it was verified. I'm not. I'm still not verified. TikTok, whoever the fuck you are, help me. Elon. No. <laughs> Pissed. Bitly, we tweeted. He's like, called. should I bring Vine back? And I was like, please God, no. 
Like it was great. Let it rip. Like let it rest. Like it had its time, but you don't want to bring it back. And then all of a sudden it's just like another version of TikTok reels and shit. <sighs> yeah. It's just another thing to fucking worry about posting on. Ever, leave me alone. This is, I'm, we're tapped out. Yeah. If they break, if they do one more thing. Dude. I mean, I'm sure Fandango has reels at this point. <laughs> Everybody has reels at Why this point. Why are you on? Look at Fandango. It's a good fucking app. I'm so upset. Where do you buy movies? Oh, you don't even I go don't. to the movies. So the I don't buy movies because my life is one. Good night. Cut Cut the whole episode. <laughs> movie. No, I, dude, I haven't been to a movie theater. Oh, <gasps> That should be your Halloween costume. I should give you the cow and you should wear it and then just put a V on your chest. Movie. Movie. Damn. Damn. Yeah. Today is actually literally the Halloween day. Yeah. And there was not a lot of traffic <laughs> getting here. I don't know if it was because it was early or because early. do people take Halloween day off? That's a weird one. Sorry, I got to go dress like a Catholic whore and <laughs> knock on some doors. Speaking of Catholic whores, bring it up. What? MGK and the Ninja Turtle lady. What is her freaking name? Megan, Megan Fox. Fox. Thank you. They dress. You saw it. Yeah. All right. Well, did you see the? There's two. They did the. Bring them both up. They did Pam and Tommy. I saw that one. So yeah, a lot of people saw this one. Pam, Tommy, pretty. You know. Blah blah blah. Cool. It's actually really good. Oh no, the second one was them. Was this one? This is oh. priest and whore bag on a leash. Yeah, these comments are not passing the vibe check. What the hell is wrong with you people? Honestly, what the fuck. Uh, but this, I saw this this morning. I was like, this is like Michael's dream costume. Yeah. No, hold on to the next one. Is it the next one? Yeah. I can't even look at this. Fuck! Wow. What? Look, somebody just said repent. <laughs> 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 I mean, that's what he's doing. He's repenting. Uh, yeah, people are mad about this. Well, yeah. Why? I mean, uh, dude. I mean, obviously. Yeah. I mean, it's like, it's like. It's they saw so many brands with Chick-fil-A. The entire religion. I mean, it's really hot. Is it me or she just slowly turned into Kim, Kim Kardashian? Yeah. It's really weird. Like everyone's facial structure looks the exact yeah, same. Yeah, but now. it's just the platinum hair. When her hair, when you go back down is, and it's brown. Right. I don't know, but the, the face, though. Well, I think everyone does that same kind of, like, makeup look. The super contour makeup. thing that the Kardashians yeah. made popular. Yeah, go, hey, 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 go to that Polaroid. Yeah, yeah. How do, do I do that on Blu-ray? <laughs> <laughs> that shit's hot. Yeah, yeah no but, but, shit. But look at this. Should we, should, this says, B-Tabs of my skin shoot with Courtney. Should we start in OnlyFans? OnlyFans is racking out. Megan Fox low-key just shouting out OnlyFans. 4.3 million likes on this photo. OnlyFans More. is so rich. You know what's so weird? Megan Fox follows zero people. You if what, I'm MGK, I'm like, follow me. First of all, 100%. Follow How many followers he got? 9.5. 9.5. Follows 870. Nice. N is it? No. No. Um, that's that not. That has to be real cocaine. It's almost worse if he's doing almond flour. <laughs> 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 no, but it, it's no, it, you, they, would, they would take this down. Uh, that can't be. What are you snorting Halloween brown brand. cinnamon? I don't know. <clears throat> I don't know. All I know is, you know what's here's something kind of humorous? Is he is legit fatigued having sex with her. He's like, I guess. That's too much? Huh? He's fucking too much? No, not fucking too much. Because like, that's the problem I tend to run into in life. Word, word. Too word. much sex. But, you know, when you're in a relationship long enough with somebody, she's like, hey, you want to? And you're like, I, yeah, I mean, okay. He's not like, you know, he's not like stoked over the moon. <sighs> I can't relate. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but I mean, I think there's ways to make it hot. Because no, dude, for of course, them, of course, there's a difference just... when you live in a studio apartment with your girl for five years and you're like, oh, where do you want to do it again? This corner? <laughs> like MGK can be like, let's fucking Ibiza. I hear you, but it's still the same lady. I I'm telling you right now. We're that coming full circle. I wish you could swap out vaginas. Now you're in Jack's brain. That what I'm saying. There's no way that made sense earlier. It first of all it made sense. Second of all, Portland. This is opened. That relationship's open. I don't care what the heck anyone says. Yeah. Open. You hit a certain level of fame, it's weird if it's not. 
Yeah. You're like, what type of what type of Mormon relationship you guys in? Well, Mormons be fucking multiple. They've got wives. You know what's weird is they can't fuck. They can't have a Mountain Dew, and then all of a sudden they're like, I have 29 wives. Life they're all hack. they're all making butter, and it's not butter. It's semen. Can't believe it's not semen. It is semen. Never mind. There you go. That is interesting. Do you think there's group chats like? It's do just- they do electricity? <laughs> <laughs> You know what's crazy is a man invented the light bulb and then hose. Yeah. Like he did that and it goes like, oh my God. Everything is for hose. Anything the you would. printing in, press somebody got was hose. for hose. Everything that was in, invented. Somebody made a digital camera, hose. Somebody made a shoe. They got hose. Yeah. Somebody invented hose and then got hose. Dude, the first person that was like, oh my God, I know how to fish. Hose. Yeah. Watch me catch this They're salmon like, what did and you your just, pussy. What, yes. How did you just pull a thing out of water? Yep. Do you think when Adam and Eve first had sex, it was a quick nut, long nut, or there's no perception of time because, you know, Rolex didn't exist yet. So Dude, how do you know if you can fuck long? I don't even think he got his cock out of that leaf. <laughs> I think he just <laughs> fucking came. Do you think it was a quick nut? Yes. It had to be. That's a lot yeah. of built up aggression. Yeah. The moment- Are they real? What? Adam and Eve? No, sir. <laughs> no. What? None of this is real. I mean, there did have to be Sam. two first people. I don't they think they were would... named Adam and Eve. Well, also, how I don't. We get here? I don't think that was there was two of we, them. No, no, no. You, how did we get here? What happened? Evolution. Well, your mom took no, semen I know from that. your dad in her cooter. I don't Isn't like that weird? Of that. My dad and my mom was high on cocaine on Thanksgiving, and then he ejaculated into my mom. And nine months later, I come on tumbling out stool. that cooter on a step stool. What? Oh, short joke? I it's good, but I don't know how it came into effect. I don't know. I All just right. think fucking on a step stool or like an encyclopedia is so funny. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. So wait, do we used to have tails or not? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Dude, some, some people have those weird little things that come out of their butts, like right above their butts. I, like the, I the bones about, extend. Why do people cut some dog's tails and they have like a little nub and then when they get excited, it looks like a damn bop it going nuts. <laughs> I think it's, a, a bal- like it's an, a, ba- a balance thing. What? Yeah. It's a balance or like a bacteria thing. The One tails? Of the two. Yeah. Hmm. It gets too like infected or it's like a balance thing. I just I'll be the myself. judge of that. All right. But it is odd. I don't know, I don't know how we got here. No, like it. not in this podcast. I just don't know how like there wasn't just like there wasn't two humans that just like popped out and was like, right. all right, cool, And now sick. all of a sudden we have OnlyFans content every day. How do so we weird. A to B to C what? I just think it's great that two people were like, oh, I want to be a bird. And they just made a plane. What the hell is that? Yeah. What the hell is that? I want them to be like, listen, I want to run fast. I don't want to be anything. I want to have the ability to run like fast, like a cheetah. So make that happen. I don't want to be in a car driving fast. You know what's so weird is we're in a car. We drive 70 miles an hour all the time. 70 miles an hour. Fast. 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 And I'm not even paying attention. I'm on LinkedIn DMing hoes. <laughs> Just joking. What are you DMing them? Want hey, to give yo. you these warm regards? What's up? <laughs> Winky face. I got a big ass Excel spreadsheet. That would do it. Many cells. Sex cell. Sex cell. Guys, I've yep. spent most of this episode uh, collecting- Laughing. Uh, yeah, laughing a lot, but also collecting- Good. Collecting uh, pictures of ancient- Pussy? Erotica. Yes, dude. And I just wanted to just run some of these by you and see if you guys could- Do you think that you could come to this? No. Oh, like if I'm in like a Delta bathroom in the sky trying to jack it off before I get back to seat 28-1? Yeah. Do you think you could you could finish to this? The body proportion, that's BBL right there. I, I, could, I could get off to this. Okay. I'll just look at that tambourine. What about this? That one I could. Rocked up, literally. <laughs> that one I could. Dude. He, that's he, hot. He, that's hot. I want to see sex back in the day. I think, I think it's just like it is now. Just like with more hair and it smelt worse. <laughs> yeah, but I mean, yeah, he's like pulling the hair, yeah, going doggy. But I mean, no, dude, there's no external help. There's no ball gags. It's just straight up. But I think there is though. It it just smells like Dungeness crabs. But, but I think <laughs> I think <laughs> what what is Dungeness crab? Nobody knows. <laughs> yeah, I would I would for sure go off to this. Why not? What is this? What the hell? First oh, of all, boys well, packing. No. This is an interesting one. Well, yeah, it is very interesting. I'm out. There's a lot going on. Uh yeah, um yeah, 
Yeah, I could. Yeah, I could jack I like off the, to a marshmallow. It, it, it's like the way it's dimly lit lets mm-hmm. me know that it's in like a corner of a cave. Where's her arms? <laughs> I think like behind her. I think she's going. That's hot. Yeah. Um. Definitely. Yeah. Yeah, that's. Looks like he's reaching into a Halloween bag. <laughs> what? <laughs> what type of trick or treat you finna get? It looks like they're wrestling. This, oh, this, this actually really turns me on. I'm the opposite. They're, really? Nobody's making eye contact here. <laughs> First of all, they're what, cheating in that photo. What is sure. that? Does, does, does lemonade go into that? Oh, this thing back here? Yeah. I think it's just a handle so you can hold it while you jerk off. <laughs> it's like a jerk now, off that's press. that's the original bop it. <laughs> Um, I can get off this. This is hot. Yep. Oh, I, I would come. Wow, this is actually really hot. Oh, that's for real. Just this yeah. is porn. Yeah. There's so many layers back then. You know, you had to fucking move all that shit out of your way. What is that? That's, that's a, a that's a vulva. That is literally a 23 year old man who's never had sex. Who's like, yeah, I could draw a vagina. <laughs> yeah. I mean, what is that? That's just carving a, a vagina into a rock. Are you sure? It kind of looks like a leaf. I don't know. Wikipedia says it's a vulva. Wikipedia it's doesn't not a lie. Bulb, dude. That's a they goddamn JPEG, jellyfish. They put JPEG in the title. <laughs> Would you, guys you ever need been so more? horny you upload a JPEG to Wikipedia? <laughs> <laughs> Who's in? Would you guys need multiple positions of the statues? Or do I would you like if you so I could flip back and forth. Mm-hmm. How do you flip a statue back and forth? No, but like... Um, oh, if we're doing this? Mentally. You look with your eyes. <laughs> I, I don't think I can get off of that, to be honest. That one's too weird. It's too much wood. That one looks like the nutcracker. A hundred percent. Not I wrong. get it. Nut. Cracker. It looks like a bong. If it looks like you put the weed right there. Yeah. And smoke it out of his cock. <laughs> That's a funny bong. It's a hilarious bong. Pretty good. Um, all right. Well. Is I it time? It, I think it's time. Let's talk do talk. it. We have a, we have a submission here. Talk. This is a question from uh, Alvarez. And Jay? they want to know, if you could pick one hole to come in for the rest of your life. Which would you pick? The a mouth. Well. <laughs> a wishing well. The mouth. So she could. Oh, sh- God. Lamborghini. <laughs> a hug. <laughs> <laughs> Chocolate covered strawberries. <laughs> a wishing well. What do, you, what do you mean? What hole? Vagina. 10 out of 10. No. What the fuck hole? What? The mouth. So she could shut up. <laughs> Andrew Tate. <laughs> Uh, you're not, you're for real going Mel? No, 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 no. I was just fucking Your own or theirs? My own. My shit tastes good. I don't give a heck what you say. I'm, Lit- I'm surprised you haven't shot up in the air and tried to catch it in your mouth. You seem like a guy that would strike me if as I that. Because it's an athletic capability. If I could be like lucid in that moment, I'd probably oh, yeah. try. But like, that, I can't, when I'm, when I'm coming, I'm just like, I don't even know where I am. Yeah. I'm like I'm like in the metaverse. How do I get in this Barnes and Noble? Oh yeah, the bookstores be getting camed in. I've I've jerked off in two different Barnes and Nobles in Manhattan. Recently? No, not recently. Oh, probably seven years ago. Dude, I'm telling you, man, Manhattan in like August, it's crazy. Horned up. Jesus Christ, it's all what hot. Is it? If Everyone's I, going to New York lately. Hot people love to just go to New York. Yeah, There's a lot of hot people in New York. Yes. I belong in New York. Correct. I'm hot. You are. I'm Portland. Unless you're in Portland. God, you beat me to it. Um, <clears throat> what hole am I coming in? Like, it just had to... I mean, yeah, vagina. Cool. Right? I mean, is there... Yeah, I mean, the if you can only ever come in one hole, if you want to have kids, you have to choose vagina. Well, I guess... Mm, yeah. Well, yeah. I mean, yeah, if you, if you want to have kids, you have to choose vagina. Yeah. I mean, buttholes kind of just... Uh, I mean, it, it would either be mouth or v- vagina, and it would have to be vagina. I guess Travis is right, though. It doesn't have to be a body hole. Could be a wishing well. Could be a glory hole. Could be a glory hole. Could be um. Could be a black hole. Space. Elon. He's a he's a real person coming into a black hole. Where does that go? Honestly, probably nineteen twelve. <laughs> Can you imagine? Can you imagine making it? Just, just making the Empire State Building. Just yeah. what the fuck? <laughs> cool. Um, let's do a secret suck. Let's do it. Let's. An anonymous submission says uh, a few months ago it was my boyfriend's and I's first anniversary. Happy anniversary! Congrats. We went out to dinner. I ate some weird appetizer that messed up my stomach. Oh. Uh, later, we were doing it. 
and we were in doggy. And I accidentally quietly sharded on his shirt. He didn't notice, uh, and I tried to play it cool. Until about half an hour later, I mentioned that he might want to change his shirt. He said, what? And I said, I think I got poop on your shirt. And then I started crying. He comforted me and told me it was okay. And uh, whoopsies happen. He's a keeper. The crying part really is what it'll save. Because if you were just like, I got shit on your shirt, no remorse. He's like, what the fuck? This is a good t-shirt. You got any time to go? But the the crying after, I mean, that'll 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 make the man be like, oh, baby, come on. It's fine. I like shit. Come on. It's good shit. I don't even mind. You, you want my eternal next shit on? <laughs> he takes the shirt. He smells. It doesn't even smell that bad. It's, it's not, fine. It's not bad at all. Also, I shit on your shirt last week. First thing I'd like to talk about, why is his shirt still on? That's number one. Anniversary fucking. Take your shirt off. You ever been in public and realized you had cum on your clothes? 100%. Funny. It's happened 11 times. I've counted. I had come on my hand before. On my fucking, this right here, my right hand, just walking around, getting triple espressos. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you so much for my coffee. Come, coffee. Yeah. All over the place. Um, That's hilarious. But yeah, he's a keeper because he was very nice about it. I think I there's, agree. you pass a certain level in a relationship and you're like, it doesn't. We're all human beings. Right. We all take poops. Yeah. You know? We all think our cousins are hot. It's the same thing. So that's the yep. episode, guys. <laughs> it actually is the episode. That Oh, yeah, that is the episode. That's an episode. Man, what a journey. It's seven in the morning. We laughed. It's early. We laughed, we cried, we, we cried. came, we conquered. We conquered. Being a conqueror is hilarious. This is my house. No, I own it. <laughs> okay. Conquered. Just take it over. Fucked up. Concord grapes. What is that? Fire. Nope. What about the Concord? What happened to that goddamn airplane? What about the Conquistador? Stupid. What is that? It's a Spanish warrior, sort of. Mm. I made that up. I think it's just a conqueror in a different. I think it's just a different language for conqueror. Really? I could. I did think any of you guys I play think... Worms of Armageddon growing up? What the hell did you uh, say? I, to I'm me? familiar. I never played the, any of the. Worms I don't know games. why this popped in my head. You said words or words? Worms of Armageddon. Those like worms are like on little battleships, yeah, and you'd like fuck up worms, other worms. It was a video game. I had friends. Real I promise. Oh, oh, oh! No, not real. It was like animated. Jesus. I had friends. Don't worry. I, dude, I know you did for sure. So many. Damn, that's fucking. That's such a cool video game title. Or like a Worms Run Again. Look yep. at that. That worm. Yeah. Oh, I did play that. Yeah, I think everybody like randomly did. Like, I don't know what the gameplay really looked like, but I do remember playing. Hmm. Well, that's well. a podcast. You're a producer. Jack's a Jack. <laughs> Jack's a Jack, Jack of all trades. I'm Michael. You're Michael. Yeah, right now we switched already. Oh well, right. Oh right. That means you get to full on. <laughs> Well, if we switch, can I pipe your girl? Yeah. You said that too fast. Whoa. <laughs> that was wild. Patreon. 10 episodes in. Let's do it. <laughs> All right. Guys, Good listen, night. man. Friendly reminder. We have a Patreon. Speaking of, four extra episodes every month. Ad free drops every Friday. Um, You guys get access to the Patreon and the Discord. So jump on that. Only $5 a month. Go on patreon.com backslash stiff socks pod um we also have uh stiff socks plus on apple it gives you uh all the four bonus episodes ad free um audio only though um but jump on that if you guys are apple only listeners um and uh yeah man uh, we're on tour trevor wallace and michael blastein so uh you know go check our blogcomedy.com and trevorwallacecomedy.com for tickets and uh that is it guys love you peace and love see you out there bye zing zap zoom zap